And for those that may have just joined us live on YouTube at Bellator MMA and Showtime Sports, we welcome you inside Pachanga Arena. Bellator 300 prelims go now to the featherweight division set for three five-minute rounds introducing the blue corner at five foot ten weighing in 146 pounds even currently at number five in the rankings her professional record seven wins three losses out of Belfast Northern Ireland Leo McCoy and across the cage her adversary out of the red corner at five foot six weighing in 145.4 pounds just off her successful Bellator debut, the former world title challenger stands now with 14 professional victories, six defeats, entering the rankings at number two. She's fighting out of Sacramento, California, presenting Sarah McCann. And your referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Sarah McMahon looking for her third consecutive win, building off a successful Bellator debut, Leah McCord. Well, she is looking to put the ball back in her court as she looks to bounce back after that amazing fight with Katz and Gano at Bellator 293 in March of this year. And McMahon, who's been working on sharpening her striking with noted striking coach Phil Nurse, who, of course, very successful with the legend George St. Pierre all those years. But we have seen uh, improvements in her stand-up game. We've seen a ton of improvements. And the one thing if you, you want to notice, her hands are still fast. Moral, she, she keeps herself tight. Phil's done a great job of getting her to move her head off the center line and step in to try to negate that reach disadvantage that she has. But her calling card is her wrestling. Began at 14, six-time freestyle wrestling national champion. Here comes McCorko and McMahon firing back with the right hand. Quick level change, looks for the takedown. And McCourt trying to defend it and does so, but we talk about McMahon and her credentials, John. The first member of the U.S. Olympic women's wrestling team in 2004, the first American woman to reach the Olympic finals, and here now looking for the finish on McCourt. Yeah, and right, you know, what we're seeing is McCourt is in that position right now with her back, but Sarah McMahon stepped back. She got poked in the eye, she got thumbed to the eye, and that's what started this whole scenario here, in the, but she fought through it. Yeah, McMahon, a silver medalist at the Olympics, recently inducted into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame, and now clinching with McCourt against the fence. A minute and a half gone here in the opening round. Great work by Sarah McMahon to stay mentally tough, knowing that, you know what, she took a finger in the eye and just decided, I'll be the one to handle this. I'll get in close, utilize my grappling. She slowed it down, and right now she seems to be fighting well. McMahon has McCord's back, looking to drag her to the canvas. McCord desperately trying to stay on her feet. Thigh by McMahon. Back elbows from the court. And there's a lacing the leg by McMahon. And grappling going on as the court tries to break the grip. Well, really, what you're looking at is you're looking at wrestling grappling compared to judo grappling because McCord's a black belt in judo. Yes, known for she's, got, her. she's got very good throws. I go shoot. Exactly. You're right. Just past the midway point of the opening round as McMahon there goes. goes. Oh. And there is that throw by McCord, but McMahon still controlling from the back. That was a nice job of Sarah McMahon to keep herself locked to the body of Lee McCord as Lee McCord goes through with that throw. If she wasn't locked on, she would have ended up on her back with Lee McCord in the top position. Under two minutes left here in the opening round. And Lee McCord shows she, she cannot break the hands of Sarah McMahon. She has worked at that. It did not happen for her. But there goes that. Oh, and McMahon. Or Mc, McCourt, McMahon ends up on her back. McCourt in the standing position. Watch 
Cognizant. Cognizant of the up kick, of course. And of course, McCord knows all about up kick. She should. She's, <laughs> she got to win because of it. Yep. Nice elbow by Lee McCord. Under a minute left here in the opening round. McCord delivering elbows from top position, slicing away at McMahon. McMahon trying to block round and pound from McCord. 45 seconds left in the round. McCord feeding McMahon a steady diet of right hands. Can't really see exactly how many are actually landing, but Sarah McMahon not doing the right things to stop what's occurring here. And that's just McCord getting up. and Referee has stepped in, Leah McCord. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, referee Jason Herzog waves off the contest due to unanswered strikes. Official time, four minutes, 30 seconds. Round number one for the winner by TKO, Lee.